We are back. More jewelry unboxing. I've picked out some items. We've got hopefully some cool stuff in here. Stella is supervising, if you didn't notice. She wanted to make sure y'all knew she was in here to help me. Her and Raven can be so much help. Hopefully, by the time we set this up so that you guys come in and we get a close-up of what's in the box, we will uh, have Stella and Raven calm down and they'll be out. Otherwise, you guys get to watch it as they bump things. So, we're going to bring you in, see what we've pulled out of this 53-pound box of Amazon returns and Amazon pulls and... We don't know. Was it considered an Amazon box? And we are going through it. Only a few hundred more items to go. And we will have shown most of it. So come on in. Let's get this party started. Because I, I feel good about this. I know the company name. This seems like I have opened a few of their items before. And they've got some really pretty stuff. I don't think they are on Amazon anymore, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, uh, we have another box. Boxes are usually pretty good. Um, got some stuff that is fairly common. Um, a bag that I'm not sure what it is. The bag looks familiar, but the numbers on it don't agree with anything else I have. So, come on in. Uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, in this one, we're going to start with something that I have a ton of, by a ton of different companies. They are, several of them are a little bit different, but yeah, they come in from a bunch of different companies, a bunch of different colors. These are what I have found out are um, like the Good Luck Clovers. This is a bracelet. I've got them. Some are just packages with necklaces. I've got necklaces, rings, earrings, <sighs> bracelets. And when you look them up on Amazon, tons of different companies. And then we have the earrings. So I know these are on Amazon with somebody. This particular set, I'm not sure who has it. But, and, yeah, a ton of them, though. So, for some reason, they are not on Amazon. I don't know if it's because they don't sell or because there are so many of them. But either way, I'll have them, I'll get their pictures and their videos up on Amazon. And then I'm going to be putting them on eBay. So if that's something you're interested in, I will have a wide variety to choose from. And I know you can't tell it in this video, but these are really pretty the way that they change colors. Some are solid black. I've got solid red. I've got solid different colors, but I do like these, the stones in the center. Okay, this is a heavy package and I'm guessing it's a men's jewelry because I don't think women would usually wear something like, oh, well, that's a, there is the pendant. I haven't done a dragon before. And then this is the chain. Nice, heavy, heavy, heavy duty chain. So, yeah, I haven't done one of these. That'll be interesting. And then it also comes with the black cord in case you wanted to put the charm on it instead. Now, this one is by the same company and they're labeled Biker. Um, it is just a plain bracelet chain. Again, very heavy duty. A man could wear that and not have to worry about catching it and breaking it. Unless, of course, you caught it on a piece of machinery, which wouldn't be a good idea. But it is the same company as the Dragon. So hopefully that'll be easy to look up. Now here we have something. Uh, just looking at it. I don't know. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. 
maybe it's a his and a her and it's got the uh yeah i would say it's a his and a her because they're two di totally different chains and one looks like it might be a, a girl and the other one a boy. And here, let me move that chain so you can see it. And the little people with the stone face or bead, whatever it is. Those are kind of cool. Reminds me of Major Tom, the song. Don't know if it has anything to do with that. But we'll be finding out. And I do like them. I think those are cute. <laughs> Not that it's something I'd want a his and her of. But they are cute. And this package, it looks like some kind of plastic earrings. Um, yeah, they're just super duper lightweight. I don't know what that symbol might be. I'm not up on the latest thing, but the... Uh, hearts here have sparkles in them and this is a textured those stripes are a texture and then the back is just a flat but it does have sparkle in the plastic too and then yeah these are almost like they're they're pressed on I'm yeah you can feel a little bit in between them but they would surely add some color to whatever you were wearing. Especially if you like the pink. All right. And here it looks like we have a, a, a oh, an ear clasp thing that you're going to put on the side of your ear. I put it on my pinky wrong. So now I'm having to turn my pinky all the way around for you to see it. That wasn't very smart of me. A snake. And yeah, that's going to just clip onto your, the side of your ear. It's kind of cool. Um, it actually, I wish I could get it better, has some texture to it. And gives it a lot of sparkle. Maybe not on the camera, but here in real life, a lot of sparkle. Okay, here we have something else I have not seen. Um, it's a bracelet. I'm going to feel very secure about telling you it's a bracelet. Now, it looks like it may be broken right here, which is a real shame for that piece. Because the rest of it's really kind of pretty. And yeah, it looks like it is broken. Which bums me out. Because I like that. There again, if uh, I've mentioned in some of the other videos, if something is broken, I'm sticking it in a broken bag and then we'll, I can always sell it for something like uh, crafters or whoever that may want to disassemble and use certain pieces. Dang it, I like that one. I thought it was cute. Now, here's one that I'm not sure about because we have other packages with this gray and they are pink dodo. And this one is not. Usually they say pink dodo right here. So this one isn't, and it even feels a little bit different. It feels a little rougher. So let's see. I'm not even, oh. I'm not even sure what, it's one earring, one. The other one is not in there. <laughs> well, that stinks. It's one earring. This actually feels like fur. It's a fabric. And then you have your tur turquoise right here, which if you had both of them would be great. There again, getting broken or things like this is just part of what happens when you get one of these big return boxes so you expect it that is a real full stone because it's on both sides but you just know it's going to happen and that's why i decided to make a keep a little uh, box bag of singles and broken ones you never know i might find the other one in a bag by itself all right, we're down to the 
boxes. I don't know how to say this. And it doesn't really tell me anything on the back other than size 10.5. So let's open it up and see. Oh, it's a, it's a ring. Is it a diamond ring? Ooh, I'd like to have a diamond that big. I have a feeling it's not. We can always hope. Now, I don't know if this is just a stone, if it's that, oh, not CZ. There's another type of stone but usually those have paperwork that it starts with an m and i am lost i don't see any markings on the inside of this ring so i have a f well there is and i there might be and i just can't read them yeah i'd like to have that for a diamond though it's very pretty i can say that it it's got a lot of shine to it Okay, so I did get out just the magnifying glass. I've got to get better lighting and my loop out to see what that says in there. I can't see it at all. I need to change glasses, get better lighting, and I'll be checking that out to see if it says anything. I'll also look it up, and if I can find it on Amazon, that'll make it a lot easier for me to decipher that teeny tiny text too. All right, and here is the big box. Thank you, Raven, for the bumps. Um, here we go. Raven's too big. She doesn't know she's a big dog. She's n coming up on a year and she just doesn't know it yet that she's not a tiny little dog. So I have had boxes like this from the same company, as I said, and they have some pretty jewelry. So let's hope it's something good. Ooh, well, there you go. Looks to be a bracelet. Let's take it out. See what we can see up close. Well, boy, I'm having a hard time getting it straight. My lighting is not the best. That is kind of a purple stone. And then it's got the rhinestones leading to and from it. Yeah, I don't know as it looks purple on the camera, but it is pretty. It doesn't have a safety clasp, so that means I doubt it is really anything too much. Oh, there again, we have something on the tag. I'm going to guess it says 9 to 5. Let me double check that real quick. All right, so I went over and looked, and this one's big enough I can read. It does say, I know I'll never get it in there, S925 for sterling silver, and it is pretty. So that's my winner for the day, I would say right there. I'll see if that other ring with the stone, if I look it up, I'm not, I don't have high hopes for it, but it could be something. This one definitely is, is one of the better, better ones I found. All right, so there you go. You got to see with me as I open them. Um, this is probably, like I said, the winner for the day. The ring, I will double check. You never know. It might, the stone I'm sure is not anything, but it might be a little bit something. Some of the other stuff is okay. It's not as bad as some videos. If you've watched all the videos, you already know I've had some where there was nothing. Now I'm going to do one video, just shoe charms, because I went through and I was grabbing shoe charms, trying to sort them. And I found just so many, a variety. The ones that I've already shown you, I sorted those out and put them in the corresponding bags. And then I just have a whole nother bag of, I don't know how many, sets of shoe charms <laughs> if i make a dollar off every shoe charm i have i should be good to go on this buy and then if we can find some more good stuff 
will be good. And like I said, the other ones, I don't remember if they were on Amazon, but I do know they were also pretty nice. So fingers crossed we find some more good stuff. Otherwise, I, I'm not worried about making my money back. I will be able to do that. Just will I be able to, because of the time invested, that's a different story. But once I make a video and pictures of them and put them on Amazon, then as long as they're still on Amazon, I can keep making commissions on those and that will help raise my value even over time. So even after I sell these, if I've got a video on Amazon, I can still make commissions on anyone that buys them if they've watched my video. And if you want to see some of the jewelry I've already got up, like I said, go down uh, to the description there is a link to my Amazon shop. It'll be amazon.com slash shop slash off the jacks. And if you don't know why it's named that, off the jacks is actually my car channel where I do videos and pictures for car shows. And that's how I got to be an Amazon influencer. But you can go down there, follow that shop, go over there and check out. I've got one list that is jewelry. I'm way behind. But slowly but surely, I'm getting pictures and getting it taken um, listed up there. I haven't even started listing on eBay yet. I will, though. I just have to go through a thousand pieces of jewelry so it's all done before I start getting too many projects going. So thanks for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe. Hope you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. If you didn't like something, you can tell me that too, because, well, it's engagement and it counts. So, we will see you in the next one.